Welcome back to wagertalk.com. This is the best bet video part one. We're going to have two best bet videos for you this week. We're going to get you best bets from Brian and Scott. And Scott, we'll start with you. Uh, you've got a best bet on Saturday. You're taking a look at, uh, you're still in a little bit of the thunder of the Mac here with uh, <laughs> Mr. Mac attack next to you. Uh, you're looking at uh, Central Michigan at Oklahoma State this Saturday. What are you looking at? Well, the Mac has been very good to us so far. I mean, last week we started off our college football season on Friday night with Ball State plus the points on the road over Georgia State. Started out a little slow, uh, but ended up pulling away and covering that one rather easily. Went up 31-14 at one point. So we're real happy with the MAC, and, and that's where I'm staying this week. I've got Central Michigan in this one, plus the points over Oklahoma State. And we saw both teams win against outmanned opponents last week, getting that first one of the season. We saw Oklahoma State doing something that I think will even out over the course of the year. They had 12 or 13, plus 12 or 13 turnover ratio last year, which helped them out a lot in Southeast Louisiana has four fumbles last week in week one. I don't think that's going to happen. They're not going to get that benefit against Central Michigan this week. Public perception is that Oklahoma State is the far better team. That's why we see a three-touchdown point spread. But I beg to differ with that a little bit. I like Cooper Rush, uh, the quarterback, who's going to be playing for pay on NFL Sundays eventually. But you'll remember last year's meeting. Brian will remember this because, obviously, being a big Mac guy, now that was a close game. It was 17-13 Oklahoma State with about 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They were laying around 23, 23 and a half. They put up one more touchdown in the final, I think with about nine minutes to go, put up one more touchdown to make it a final of 24-13. Central Mish easily covering the spread. And I expect another tight battle here for the most part, relatively at least tight battle. I don't think it's going to be a 21-point margin by the time it's said and done. I think that Oklahoma State's defense, which gave up a ton of points each of the last two years, is going to struggle against this underrated Central Mish offense I think it'll be pretty close. I think Oak State finds a way to win, but by about 10 to 14 points. I don't think it's going to get to 21. And if it does get to 14, I really do believe that it's going to be late when it gets to 14. Not like they get up early and just cruise the whole way. Good stuff. And Scott, uh, tell our viewers what uh, you've got going this weekend and tell them about our radio show. Well, the radio show has been a blast so far. It's me, you, and Matt Holt of CG Technologies. And we do it every Thursday on SB Nation Radio. It's heard 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time on SB Nation Radio, about 126 potential outlets for it to be heard on. Plus, you can also listen to the archive version on wagertalk.com. We started our Mel Kuyper show last uh, Saturday morning, again, for the second season with Dari and Mel. And then we're going to go back. They're going to take us back again on Sundays where we're going to do NFL Sunday Countdown with Kevin Winter. That's going to be at 1235 Eastern time and heard on ESPN Radio around the country. So a lot of chance for us to get out uh, some of our plays that we're going to be using both Saturdays and Sundays throughout the course of the year. Big package going on this week. We ended up 4-2 and two at Wager Talk last week in college football. We will have a 5% play up if folks are watching by Friday afternoon at the very latest. All right, well, check out uh, Scott's Weekend All Access and get the, everything from Scott Thursday through Monday for $69. And we include those big plays. We don't hold those out and try to upsell you. Right. You get it in the package. Brian, uh, you've got, uh, you're going to go in the MAC again, too. And uh, you're looking at Ohio U and Kansas. Uh, what are you looking at? Yeah, for anybody who's getting all excited about the marquee games, I guess they're not going to be happy about this video. <laughs> but we're here to provide winners. We're not here to play the marquee games just because it's on TV. No professional gambler just bets games because they're on TV. Um, and he, in, in his game, he talked about how those two teams played last year. And when you're a big underdog like that, it brings your confidence for the following year, especially mm -hmm. when you lose. So I, I understand his reasoning behind that. But, you know, we, we talk about week two in college football being overreaction week. There's nothing bigger than an overreaction when Kansas is now favored in a football game. <laughs> if they win this week, they, they win their over, over under. The over under is one and a half wins. Mm. They will have two wins. Unfortunately, you can't catch it to the end of the year. Mm. But Kansas could go over their over under wins this week. They're not. They're not going <laughs> to win this game. If, if you look back to last year, uh, if you go off the ending last year compared to this year, Ohio used a double digit favor here. Going into last week, Ohio U was a three-point favorite going in here. So now you got a six-point move on Kansas based on what happened last week. Well, Kansas looked pretty good against a nobody. Uh, but if you go by that Ohio U game, and that was my play last week, my top play was Texas State against Ohio U, 21-point uh, favorite, and they only, you know, they had to go to overtime, triple overtime, and they lose outright. That was more of a situation where Texas State was the better team. That's a team you want to keep an eye on in the future. 
But now you've got an Ohio U team with Frank Solis who's been there for years. He knows how to get his team back up again. You could tell when you watched that game that they were just not prepared. They were making stupid penalties. They had seven more penalties than uh, Texas State did in that game. He's going to have his team ready, especially off a loss. And you know a MAC team, to be able to beat any Big 12 team right. is real exciting for them. This is just the typical overreaction. Ohio's going to win this game straight up. All right. Well, there you go. Brian says to take Ohio U plus the points, and he's calling for the outright upset. Brian, you got anything big going this weekend? I do. Uh, last week we had our MAC game of the week, and as I pointed out, an easy 23-point cover. Uh, I have already written up two MAC plays, including our MAC game of the week. You can get both of those right now at wagertalk.com. I've got three plays up right now with more to come. Looking for a big weekend. You are the Mac attack. Just see him at McDonald's and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guys, don't forget this weekend. You want to save $10? Well, you won't find Tom Brady on the field this week, but you'll find him at Wager Talk with our coupon. Brady and the number 10, you can save $10 at wager talk use it on any package hey use it on a weekend all access you can get brian's weekend all access 69 dollars. use that coupon it's just 59 dollars. check it out at wager talk we'll be back with more